One of the most infamous unsolved mysteries, a luxury airliner disappeared 60 years ago, halfway between San Francisco and Hawaii. Only on 5, Sharon Chin shows us the new discovery that could bring this cold case buried deep in the ocean for decades back to the surface. She's the world's finest commercial airliner. The Boeing 377 Stratocruiser, like this, dubbed the ocean liner of the sky, was known for its luxury, seven-course gourmet dinners and champagne in the cocktail lounge. Passengers would go down there for a drink or a smoke during the flight. But on November 8, 1957, Pan Am Flight 7 disappeared with 44 people on board. The flight left SFO for Hawaii on the first leg of a round-the-world trip. Days later, 19 bodies and floating debris were found hundreds of miles east of Honolulu and 90 miles off course. Greg Herkin of Santa Cruz has been investigating the mystery. It appeared that there had been an attempt at ditching of the plane and that the ditching would have been uh, almost survivable, except that the plane came in at too steep an angle and at too high a speed. The plane itself never turned up. The government investigation showed no distress call and no fire, but that didn't explain high levels of carbon monoxide in several of the bodies. Newspaper headlines blamed a meteor or an explosion plot, but the government could draw no conclusions on what caused the accident. Greg's favorite fourth grade teacher died in the accident. As a tribute to her, the retired history professor has been studying the case, along with retired newspaper editor and publisher Ken Fortenberry, whose father was the flight's navigator. That's his father okay. at the controls there. Using a grant from Pan Am's Historical Foundation, Greg and Ken reviewed the airline's archives. Here are three leading theories. There was the possibility that the purser had brought it down, the suicidal purser. There was the passenger who had all the life insurance policies, and there was the issue of mechanical failure. In the 1950s, there were no black boxes to shed light on the crash, but there was an audio tape of radio transmissions between the cockpit and air traffic control. Experts in advanced technology deciphered garbled messages. The tape was basically the holy grail of this search. We didn't find the tape, but we did find the transcript. Whoever was broadcasting had said, what about number three engine? Was there a fire, an explosion? We may never know. It's a fascinating story. It's a fascinating mystery. Greg hopes that a robot will someday scan the wreckage in the Pacific, some 12 to 14,000 feet deep, and finally solve the mystery of Pan Am Flight 7. He says the technology is available, but would cost $10,000 a day. Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. Greg and Ken are trying to find the audio tape of radio communications with the cockpit. And if they find new evidence, they hope the NTSB considers reopening the investigation.